everyone, welcome back to Baking with Jazz, a very amateur baker. In fact, probably lower than amateur baker, but I'm sure you guys have seen Among Us. It's a game, but on YouTube, it is almost in every thumbnail, and I thought I'd join in. I'm gonna put it in my thumbnail. I'm gonna have a little Among Us thumbnail, because today I'm gonna bake a cake, and it's gonna be an Among Us Okay, I'm gonna be working predominantly with fondant, first and foremost, haven't really worked with fondant much before, have never modelled fondant into like creatures, so the fact I've got to make aliens, just bear with. Um, we'll also be trying to do a chocolate flame of sorts, we'll also be trying to make a cake. I've signed up for a lot here. I don't know how this video is gonna go. So first things first, I need to bake a cake. So I went ahead and got a little cake box mix and we're going to seal this little cake with the chocolate and hazelnut icing. Now, if you guys saw my mixing every cake video, you'll know this icing, freaking delectable. When I decided to film this video and make a cake, this was the first thing on my shopping list. The cake is subsequently going to be covered in blue fondant, we hope. We'll see how this goes. But I got uh, these two little packs of fondant, two pounds, reduced. I'm happy about it. So it's kind of a deep blue and I'm hoping it will represent the sky. Then I have these little uh, colors to make my little aliens from. So I've got red, blue, yellow, pink, and orange. We're gonna see what we can do. There's a chance I'll only make one, but we'll I'll try my best. And for their visors, I have a little black with the white, maybe make a little bit of gray. We're gonna go for the best. I'm gonna add to the cake a little flame, a little dead body reported flame. I'm gonna try and make that from white chocolate and red food coloring. Don't see this bit working, but we're gonna go for it also. If you haven't played Among Us, I'm sure some references will go straight over your head. Um, just be aware, I've played it twice and I got kicked out because they said that I was a dumb B word because I didn't know how to vote. So don't worry, you're not alone. I haven't really played it either. I just think those little characters are kind of cute and I wanted to make them. I also have some tools. So I got some modeling tools. I got some lollipop sticks to maybe stick these things into place. I'm not too sure. I got an icing smoother to smooth the fondant stuff. And I got a rolling pin, but with these little guides on there. Because I watched someone ice a cake with fondant and they used one of these little rolling pins. Although now I'm thinking about it, maybe should have got a longer one because that's not big enough for the diameter of my circle. However, rolling pin and then a roll cut mat, which I also saw on one of the videos and should help me, we hope. I'm gonna make the cake, get it in the oven and I'll catch you when that's done and this this is happening. It is a long while later. Um, I'm filming another video in tandem with this one and I'm getting so confused as to what's happening and what's going on. I've been in the kitchen for hours now, quite literally hours. And uh, I've basically made a chocolate cake. That's it, that's as far as it goes. I really thought by this point I'd be a lot further along. Doesn't matter too much about the inside of the cake, but I do want a nice solid base and for it to look half decent. I'm really hoping fondant is gonna cover up all of my mistakes. Hello, this is going on very nicely. Oh, I want a pat on the back so bad right now from anybody because, oh, oh boy. I have no idea why none of my other cakes have gone this well. <gasps> look at it, look at it, just look at it. I'm really impressed with myself. I realize I shouldn't be, but I am because hello, that doesn't look too bad. Don't really have much experience with fondant. I'm pretty certain the only time I've used fondant was when I made the watermelon cake. And I genuinely have the worst memory. And I don't even remember how I used it. If I used it, I don't remember. I don't remember my technique at all. But for this video, I Googled covering a cake with fondant. Somebody was using a mat. So basically you lay the mat out, you work out the size of fondant you need, and you roll it into the circle size shown, and it should be good for the cake. We're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna go for it. This is a nice little silicon mat. Okay. Use the diameter of the cake, which is eight inches, and then you add the height of the cake on either side, which I'd say was two inches on either side. So I'm gonna go with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
So I'm gonna roll my fondant out to the 12 inch circle. That's my plan. So I meant to squidge this. It is dying my hands. I meant to squidge this around a little bit ah, to make it more pliable. Make it into a round shape. This seems too big. I'm not gonna lie to you. Seems a little big. We're gonna just roll this to, oh gosh, it doesn't wanna roll. We're gonna just roll this to 13 inches. My sheet is moving around. <laughs> I think I've done it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no. Oh no, she said to pick it up now and again, only I can't pick this up. <gasps> oh no. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh goodness, okay. It's like a pizza, it's like a pizza. Let's put it back down. I'm barely at the 12 inch circular mark and I'm really struggling. This has taken me a good 10 minutes and I don't think it's right. <laughs> so that's good. Basically, I now am meant to pick this up and lay it on my cake and hope for the best. The only thing is, if it goes wrong, my whole day has been for nothing because I can't easily lift it back off again if this doesn't go on right. And she did a cool little onto the, the rolling pin type lift situation. Oh, I can't do that. Oh no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Ah! I'm so scared. Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay. We're just gonna... Okay. Sure. I mean, oh no, it's breaking. <laughs> it's breaking and I don't know what to do about it. She said to stretch it and, and lay, but I'm stretching and laying and it's just breaking. Oh, this side's going better. Wait, maybe I've got the technique down. My nails are going straight into the cake. It's not good, it's not good. <sighs> I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. Oh yes, it's not looking too bad. Wow, that is a heavy cake. I'm now gonna cut the edges off. I don't remember seeing how to do that. I'm just gonna give it my best. Okay, we're doing this. We're just really going for this here. Is it right? Who knows? Is it working? Kind of. That is all that matters. And we have a blue cake. <laughs> okay, I can just stop there. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get for this video. Look at my cake. Wow, I made a blue cake, that was me, I did this. Now it's time to make some of the little characters. I'm gonna start with the pink and I'm gonna open up my modeling tool pack um, and see. To be honest, I don't really have any idea what I'm doing with the modeling tools, but I bought them because this is what they're meant for. So we can just try our best. Oh boy, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with any of these. I don't expect great results if I'm honest. Okay, we are kneading slash squidging. Um, ah, I am not a craft person. Um, as much as I'd like to be one, I'm not. So we're gonna roll this into a little kind of ball shape. How big do I want my people? That looks quite big. Then I'm gonna roll it into a kind of, <laughs> oh boy, I do not know what I'm doing with this stuff. Um, I kind of just wanna take a chunk out of the bottom. I'm gonna go in with scissors and just take this chunk out. There we go. I'm gonna use this fancy tool to get in here and make this. Oh yeah, there are too many tools. Can I just use you to take a little bit? Oh gosh, I'm doing a bit of surgery here. If I'm honest with you, it looks a little like a tooth. I am not too disappointed with this. How will it stand up, you ask? I have no clue. I bought some lollipop sticks. I'm wondering whether I'm meant to stick those in now. I'm now trying to make a little pink backpack type thing. Um, it doesn't seem to want to work. Does that work? Are you gonna stay or are you gonna fall off? Uh, if I put a lolly stick in there, will that help it stand up or will I just ruin it and have to start again? I mean, I'm making the rules up as I go here. I really feel like I could stick this in there. <gasps> yes, go me. Can I stick you into, into, I haven't thought this through. <laughs> what can I stick you into? Oh no, no, no. So they have round little masks and it's kind of um, black and blue and white. So I have black and blue and 
white. So I'm using a little black bit, then I want a blue bit. Okay, this is not looking too bad. I'm actually not joking. That's not too bad. Oh, look at this. Got a little backpack, little visor going on. Little impressed with myself. I think I'm gonna stick this in my cake here. I'm so impressed with myself. I don't think you understand. I could stop there. I might just stop there. That, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with myself. This looks tragic, I'm sure, to most of you. To me, I didn't think this was possible and I feel great about myself. That's not bad. Come on. I'm kind of impressed with myself. I think I'm now gonna move on to the yellow. Oh boy. Okay, yellow one is really tough. <laughs> that sounded like um is it Chewbacca I don't know I don't have a clue I'm gonna add a teeny little bit of margarine we're gonna roll it into a ball of sorts I'm gonna make a little chop in the bottom for the legs and then I need to make a little backpack for him and squidge it down a little bit I'm sure there is a better way of doing that a little visor <gasps> are you okay are you okay I think he's okay Oh wow, the black is crisp. Oh no, it's because I've left it out. Oh boy. How do you stop that from happening while you're working with it? <laughs> My neck hurts from looking down for so long. I'm just gonna plop that on there. Stick it onto this guy. Ooh. And then I'm gonna squidge these in. <laughs> I'm really excited by this. Got another little guy. And we're gonna stand him here. Okay, for a novice baker, come on, that's not bad. I swear I bought green. <gasps> Did I not buy green? I am really upset with myself. Why? 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 Oh no, okay, we're just gonna go for orange then. Gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh-oh, one of my legs is way bigger than the other one. <gasps> yes, my lot of buddies. He's got such a little visor. Why is his visor so little? I now want to make a little orange guy, but a half guy because I want it to be a little dead body. Got a little orange guy's legs. And then I want one of these little sticks and I'm thinking, can I break this in half? Not easily. I'm going to chop this. Did anybody see where it went? I know part of it went on the floor, but did, did anybody see where the rest went? Oh, here we go. I got it and I'm gonna make a little um, bone come out of it. I am totally making this up as I go along, by the way. Um, I'm just making it up. So I'm gonna use a little bit of white and I'm gonna try and make a little bone. Okay, this is not looking too bad. Turns out I may be an artist. <laughs> that's not awful, come on. That's not bad at all. I've just looked at a picture and the dead body actually has a slightly different shade ring around it. So I'm going to add the teeniest bit of black to this orange and see if I can make a dark orange ring. I'm not happy with this orange. It looks dirty. There is every chance I'm going to now ruin my perfect dead body and I'm going to be devastated if I do. We're going to perform a little bit of light surgery. I'm going to pull the bone out. I'm going to make a little ring around the socket. I'm going to shove this back inside. Oh boy. I made it better. Here's the situation. I am very, very happy with my cake right now and I kind of want to stop there. I also kind of wanted to do a little something with a flame. So I bought some chocolate and some food coloring and we're gonna see what we can do. I do realize this white chocolate isn't quite white. It's more yellow and it's got little black bits in it. Oh no, this isn't going to go well at all. We're going to try and colour this chocolate red and see what happens. And if it goes red nicely, we'll make do. And if it doesn't, then we'll have to do something else. It doesn't look like it's going red. It looks like it's going, oh, maybe. It's going pink. I'm basically going to try and pipe a flame. I have no idea what I'm doing here. This looks ridiculous. Now, it doesn't look terrible, but if you compare this red to this red, it doesn't look great. I'm gonna roll this fondant out, make a little flame shape, and then wrap it around the side of the cake because that chocolate is not working for me and I'm 
very sad about it. We're gonna go for a red flame with a little pink inside flame with some little stripes in white. To cut a flame out of it, kind of, ah! That was a close call. Oh, blimey, I am not doing well with this. I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like a really bad Christmas tree. I have zero clue what this is meant to be. That does not look how I wanted it to look. Yeah, I clearly have no skills when it comes to making an arrow. I'm starting again. This is poor, 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 poor decoration. I'm gonna take the biggest risk ever and just roll it. Okay, white pieces came straight off. <laughs> white pieces didn't want anything to do with that. Here is our thing. I've just now got to try and get it to wrap around the cake. I've put some sugar into a cup. I'm going to add some hot water to it. And I'm just going to use it as paste. I know you can make sugar paste. I should have done a little bit more research, but I didn't. So we're just going to add some hot water to this and hope for the best. Potentially do a little cross hatching. Oh, it's done now. Oh no, I've ruined it. We learned this in art class when dealing with clay. And if you do a little bit of cross hatching, it helps things adhere. So I've just done a little bit of cross hatching. I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar paste on. I don't think I thought this through properly, but here we go. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but I am an amateur baker and that is not too bad. Oh no. Um, I'm just a little bit impressed with myself. I've never made anything with fondant before. I've never made a proper cake before. This, I'm impressed with myself. I'm really impressed with myself and I give myself a pat on the back. That's not bad. Come on. You ready? Yeah. Go. That's pretty good, that. <laughs> that is pretty good. Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> that is really good, that. I wasn't expecting to be that good. <laughs> Neither was I. <laughs> yeah. That looks like... You didn't, you didn't do that. <laughs> so you ordered that in while I was out today. You ordered that in, didn't you? <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Me too. The that was the best bit, yeah. <laughs> These little backpacks, what are the little things on the back? They've got little backpacks on. Look. Yeah. <laughs> that is very That's good. Quite good yeah, isn't yeah. It? I didn't think you'd do it that well. I was so after happy the, with After myself. the uh, the tea cake incident. I can't fault it. <laughs> the flavour would be a little bit neater. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, that is back. really, really good. <laughs> Can I eat it now? No. Can you slice through it? No. Well, I don't know how interesting that video was, but I really, really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me, and I'm gonna eat my cake, and I'll see you soon. Bye.